Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you the day after FOMC. A little bit hectic there. Uh, the price action really didn't get secured until the press conference. And even the press conference, it was quite difficult to figure out what the hell uh, Powell was saying. Uh, but to me, there are two takeaways. The first takeaway was there was a slight bit of arrogance there where he was saying that he seemed to think that the Fed sort of has control of the on-off button within the market. As in, when the Fed cuts, the market will go into, uh, or the economy will go into an upturn. Um, and when the Fed hikes, uh, it's likely to go into a downturn. That arrogance was a little bit of a worry to me. Um, and taken from that, and the corollary to that is, it seems to me that he thinks that this uh, little cut is going to help the economy, which of course, um, we're not really too sure on that. We have really no idea. It seems, again, it seems a little bit arrogant for him to say that but it gave it a little bit of a hint of insurance one and done, which is eventually what uh, turned the equity markets down and turned turned euro dollar down. Uh, and we're going to continue with that theme for the rest of the week. So you want to be core short equities, um, sell any rallies at 29.90 to 30.05. Um, you want to add two shorts through the lows now, 2960. Uh, this looks like a turn. It was an event. Uh, it was a sizable move. If you think about it, top to tail was, I guess, what, 50, 60 handles. Um, 23 was the high, 60 was the low, so 63 handles. Pretty decent. Uh, now we need follow through. Uh, and I think what's going to happen is. We're going to get some positive numbers out of ISM and out of uh, F out of and non-farm payrolls on Friday. This will add to the credence of sort of a one-and-done type deal, uh, which will put more pressure on the equity markets, and also will probably make the bond markets turn because this is the one risk-off element that hasn't come together now. We have dollar higher, we have equities lower, but we also need the bond market to turn for risk off truly um, to enter like a proper risk off fear mode. But anyway, for today, uh, here's the um, ES chart. Again, uh, we printed a 66 low, now we're at 81. Uh, you know, you just want to trade this from the short side, keep your core from yesterday intact. And you know, look, um, keep your eye out basically for what's going to happen at uh, 2960. So there's this gap to fill 2944 to down to 2944, which should be obvious support first time down. So this would be an excellent place to take some uh, shorts back, reload try and resell again maybe between 60 and 65 uh, but core short equities is the way now your dollar similar type deal we traded down to uh, 84 then back up to 23 second time down through the figure you can see this on the hourly so I'm sure everyone was all trading pretty much held we went to 02 one last time but now we're through um, new range lows really no support to mention really um, anywhere near here uh, you know this thing really can probably get down to 108 107 50 we got to keep an eye on fixed income this is the next piece of the puzzle that that has to turn Boone's made all-time highs yesterday closed above all-time highs. We're right back near that 40 basis point area at 174.92. Um, 
the tens in the US did not collaborate. You'll see you'll see here where are my tens? There we go. Dojied. At one point I was getting them fairly excited uh, as we got down to 127.01. Um, the guns are loaded at 126.24. Uh, let's just put it that way. This is sort of the moment um, we've been waiting for now for a couple of months. We've said it before. The risk off move or the craziness move, the fear move, this time around will be driven by the bond market. It, this is not a stock market risk off move. So we need the bond market to confirm. The bond market is the leveraged long. The bond market is the insanity hysteria. I mean, who are the, who are the, I don't want to, you know, insult people, but who the fuck is buying uh, $2 billion worth of boons at minus 40 basis points yesterday? Um, good job, Germany. I would sell as much of that shit as you could possibly sell. Um, but who the hell is buying it? It makes no sense. That is going to end in tears. And when the wheels come off uh, on fixed income, this will lead to, um, you know, sort of a global reckoning uh, and big fear trade. We're not there yet, uh, but we got to watch this. Uh, 126.24 in the tens. It'll be a key moment. My guess is this goes Friday. Um, and then we'll have the beginning of a pretty good risk off scenario. Dollar Yen punched up through 109. Uh, we did not trade this. We probably should have, of course, uh, in retrospect, but um, here we are at 17. The thing about Dollar Yen is that um, with equities and risk off sort of lurking, it's a bit of a worry uh, being long Dollar Yen. We're focusing a little bit of our energy on being short cross yen. We talked about short euro yen yesterday. Uh, this is totally still in play on a sort of slow, sort of pulling teeth type of move. Uh, but selling euro yen now looks uh, solid. And good chance this uh, 120 breaks on Friday as we see. Um, further risk off and further moves down in um, in euro cad yen also uh, looks interesting down through these uh, 82 16s we talked about cad weakness yesterday a lot of uh, our model following guys are very bearish cad tricky uh, dollar cad went down to uh, 13107 before closing up at 13190 broke through the figure and now we've traded up to 18 today. Dollar Cat has plenty of upside um, and this is probably best expressed through CAD Yen uh, in, my, in my eyes uh, because we think we are going to see further risk off. What else is out there? Not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, we've got some, some numbers out today. Um, but I'm, it's a travel day for me today. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to be taking 10 days out in northern Italy uh, with the family. I will be watching the markets from afar, uh, but I will not be producing any videos. And I'll just be monitoring some of the positions that we have on. And I'll probably check in at some of the key moments. But in general, uh, this is a holiday for me, so it's good to step away and get some fresh air. We'll be in the Dolomites, uh, which is one of my favorite places in the world. So I look forward to that. Um, but because of what happened yesterday, I still will keep a little bit of an eye on what's going on in the market. Um, so, But you won't see me on Twitter, uh, nor will you see me on the videos until, let's say, about the 12th or 13th of August. So, this is sort of Privateer signing out for summer holidays. I wish you all uh, amazing profits over the next 10, 12 days. And I will see you upon returns. Good luck out there, people.
talk to you later. Ciao.